able to do that most recently. And if you can't beat them, well, Atlanta Fays are going to win. So if you are subliners, and I definitely like the way Nameless phrased it, they need that breakthrough series. You need to be able to prove it quite literally against this squad. They had success against them very early on in the year. Since then, they've been getting picked apart. It's six and one in map count the past two times they've played in Atlanta phase. I mean, they're torching, shooting their bodies while they're dominating in the feed as well. So you got your work cut out for them. We'll see if New York have leveled up their game. Now the only last district that phase have just seems to be dealing issues for New York subliners on all occasions. We haven't towards this step. Couple of decent kills off the rope for subliners and some time on board of it as well. He's trying to find a breakthrough on the railing side, but it's going to be interesting to see how it does go down. We were talking about it just before we jumped in, though. I mean, draws are against subliners. My goodness. Uh, no, numbers are absurd across all game modes. Drazi is like an incredibly high pressure AR, so he's been feasting. However, Hydra occasionally just ascends to God form. You see, he went on a nice little multi kill tear there. 4 0 star form and obviously dominating the feed. Helps you get a little bit of P1 time, but obviously nothing too crazy for the moment. But as far as containing Drazi goes, so far so good. That rotation though with Lana Faze singing sweet. They're going to be able to get that early time. Good time to get a few kills on the board. Heading on over towards P2. New York not in too bad of a position. You see a little jostle going on, on the top left of the map there as well in terms of that rotation for P3, which will be incoming in 49 seconds. Right now, New York subliners are soaking up those seconds. Have a good position in here over towards P2. He's trying to find a breakthrough. Because he will be the tip of the spear as he so often is. Going to be a big hit from one direction. The ARs are up here though for subliners. Can they hold it down? Absolutely they can. Maybe a bit of a one-dimensional push from FaZe. Does not work out. No, not at all. I mean, Sally's going to get traded as well. So this was a hill that Atlanta Faze rotated to first, did not win any of the entry gunfights. And I appreciate the Bulldog showing up in the feed as well. Nice little three spear for him. He has been alive this entire P2 and just found the route to get behind enemy lines. He's thinking about flipping those spawns. And you see he's already able to do it. There you go. Boom. Sky spawns up right next to him. So New York subliners staying way ahead of this game. And I know early runs for these guys on Vista. They've done it time and time again. Well, here's another example. Already built themselves a sizable lead. However, they do lose the back spawns. Atlanta phase have to chip away at it. But it's like Hydra and Sib still in position to attempt to be a nuisance. It's much to just about break in. Eventually getting themselves up and running in this game. That's four dead, and that's going to be some good time for FaZe. 20 seconds remaining here over towards P3. It was a long, arduous fight. Towards the back side as we will be heading over towards P3 in a second. The control came in eventually. Just bullied their way through as they so often do. So now set up. The pressure starting to come in here from subliners. Starting to pick them apart from the outside. A couple of kills fall in their way. The route from Kismet is just going to break them wide open as well. You would like to think Hydra finds another lovely break from subliners. And it didn't need it to again. They got the sort of early hold, early rotation, did a lot of the small things right. And as you pointed out, Atlanta Fage just bullied them. And well, breaking one hill is a good thing, but looks like New York Subliners might have to break two. Sent from on the pinch just to find some extra kills. Does get traded out, but Atlanta Fage nice and secure as the new hill pops. They're going to be down by about 65 seconds, but with the setup they have for the moment, might be able to run the score up a Hydra. Beautiful entry. Falls it up with two. The reads are on point hail hydra indeed 13 and 6 start the man is running a rampage even goes to get the kill in the back hydra quite literally mr do it all those takeover games we talk about so often it's looking like one early doors here from hydra 13 and 6 he's the one that finds the break subline is not quite running away with this one by any stretch of the imagination but start to sit very very comfortably don't quite have faced this number on a couple of different occasions but these rotations have been so, so solid for them. And this time around, they've held it strongly. Draws a hole on his own, trying to get something going. Not going to happen. And look at this rotation again. Big fight going to go on over towards the back bridge side. We can see Sib and Kismet already here from the subliners. Going up against the Simp and Selium. Selium's the first one to drop. They know exactly where Simp is. Wonderful rotation again from subliners. Yeah, both players winning at once. And Sib, nice snap as well. Give him the extra freebie. If he doesn't win the first one, Atlanta Faze get the break. And said Sib does enough to make an impact just to keep things mixy 
And Gizmet, well, not going for the contest just yet. Wants to get the guy off at time. Well, here's the contest rolling through. And you see his teammates picking up the kills and feed. Hydra for two. Kismet is just a distraction in this moment as all of Atlanta phase players' bodies drop around them. Skies and Hydra going on a simultaneous tear to get the break. Right now, New York Subliners playing this map incredibly well. 26 interactions already from Hydra. Getting things rolling. Six spree now for Skies. The cruise missile will be locked in and a solid, solid lead. Whatever happens with the final 15 seconds over towards the bridge hard point, it has been a substantial opening segment coming in from New York Subline. There's 120 and rising phase. Yet to really get anything going yet. It's been, I want to say, like just a bit sloppy on occasion. Seen some of those breaks coming through, just have not been solid chance. No, not at all. And again, with a 70 point lead, New York Subliners, this is the opportunity just to run it up. So we're going to jump in for a listen and see if they can keep this vibe flowing. Yeah, I need one, I need one. Yo, Yo, no one's on the bridge. One more ticket, 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 ticket. I killed ticket. Look at the current time. One shot on time, Chris. There's one cat 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 I have a streak, guys. One's vines and one's cat shot down. All right, we're good. I have a streak. Okay, okay. Take this. Check this. Go ahead, check this. All right, I'm checking this. Yeah, Stay left. I saw him vines. Yo, bitch, bitch. Beach tree, one shot. Two p one, one grill, one left. Great, beach tree. I'm gonna see it. Beach tree, guard that time. Gossip, gossip. Snacks. Gossip the time. P one. Beach tree, one was. One less beach tree. Tyler snacks. Heard you. Got all time. He's gotta be cat. You know what I mean? I'm playing new guys. I'm waiting for you guys too. I'm waiting for you guys too. Vine, vine, lane down. MC, lane, lane down, vine. Vine, I'm one shot. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you, bro. I'm waiting for you. Move in, vine. Play together. Play together. I'm waiting for you. I'm playing towards new. Okay, be little burger playing for me. That hurts. Oh, time. 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 Yo, Crimp, yeah, pick up the one on here. Pick up the one on top. 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 Dead. Nice. Last guy on time, the other guy's on spawn. Time on spawn. Yo, bro, bro, me. Bro, 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 me, bro. Time on spawn. 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 It looked like he was going towards Molly Pillars. I'm gonna hit the bomb, man. He died, he died, he died. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. I'm going, I'm going back up. I'm going back up. I'm going, I'm going. I'll die, I'm on my own. New York Subliners still have the lead when Alan Lepay is very much closing the gap. It is never, ever safe. It's never done. Let's go for a listen in with Alan Lepay. I'm with you guys. You guys can play back hard. He's lying down. I think he's right there. I'm not going to shoot. 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 I'm not I'm on the tree. I think he's close right there. I'm on the tree. 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 I'm not going to do anything. 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 I'm not going to do anything.
We pointed out that Draza usually has a ridiculous series up against New York Subliners. He took a couple extra bullets from Kismet. 15 and 25. Phase starting to flounder once again. Subliners have extended that lead now. Well, got a little bit slim chance, but it's back in working order right now. Hey, game's not over though. Still a Vista, still a long way to go. Decent bit of Call of Duty to be played, but New York Subliners get another wipe. Another double kill in the beat for Sib as well on the Bridge Hill. The man has been popping off and he just gets to hold an iron. One of the best shots in the league. If he gets to post up uncontested, man's going to fry you. Takes a stun to finally take him down, but now the Bulldog rearing up, ready to bark once again. The stuns though, tax coordinated for Atlanta Phase, trying to claw their way back in this game. A little bit of gunfights though. We talked about Draza there, just not having the best of games. It seems as if he just gunned Hydra in the middle of the map. Gets a little bit of control inside the bar. They've got this scrap time. And as we mentioned, you can never, ever count these guys out. Faze maybe starting to heat up at the right time, but BZ finds one. Draza's there. Kismet for the two though. The trades, which way they're going to fall it still with Kismet for all four in the end. Starts barking at the right time. 27 and 20 now from the Subliners. Lead player in this game. Hydra Lloyd inside of him as well. 230 and rising now for Subliners. Faze, you got to find a way through. No, Kismet's going to call him, man. He get the trophy out too. Easy setup on P1. Play for the spawners. Collect the time and let your teammates do their jobs. But, well, Draws and Sim pick up a couple kills in the feed. So Atlanta Faze, well, they're still alive. But they have such a long way to go. Even on the rotation. Right now, New York Subliners. The feed's getting picked apart. You got an option. Rotate, hit old scrap time. Subliners can do whatever they want. The options are there. The timing's not for skies. This rotation is going to pop in 15 seconds. Subliners can very much still win it over towards P1. They go for another little stab at it. They're not going to get there. But look at the bodies that are heading over towards P2 now. Atlanta Phase have broken 200 points. They'll be much closer than they were beforehand. But they need to win these next couple of gunfights. Big one here for Hydra to try and survive. Just bullets being flown into him for a couple of different windows. But now the push needs to start to come through. Four seconds for Subliners. Simple find one. He jumps inside the point. He's dead to rights and Subliners. Map number one goes their way. A fantastic yeah, start just led on. Fantastic performance. Phase nearly came back into it. But not quite good enough. A slow start. They get punished. No, absolutely. And an electrifying pop-off as well. You can see how much that means to the subliners. One of the interesting things about this matchup, they played each other four times on the year. Atlanta Phase have won every single map one until now subliners taking care of business and i gotta say hydra backing him down as well he has a little square up with selium top burger selium has him stunned is tagging him up through the wall and literally runs away from him seemingly atlanta phase want nothing to do with hydra who had 49 engagements on the map 5700 damage as well Hydra doing Hydra things. Kismet right there with him with the hill time. And I know the desk was talking about the damage. Drazi's had crazy output. He gives you 5K, but Sib dominant on the map one. 6K damage made up for what Puckett expected and then some. <laughs> some of the shots from Sib lining it up with the ACR. We kind of lost it during the listening to one of the gunfights as well. <laughs> the round P1 there, so I'm going to play it. It's a real, real thing, but... That's a huge win for subliners. Everybody kind of had their moments. Skies went on a 6 spree, one stage sip. Obviously found that damage. Kismet found a full kill feed all on his own. Everybody from the subliners pitching into that win. But do you think the damage was maybe done on this first rotation? What, you were heading into the second one with a 70 or 80 point deficit if you're phased. It's a long way to come back from. Well, I, honestly, one of the bigger moments, I don't know if we're going to catch it in the highlights, but there was a, uh, a P3, I believe it was, where Sam just tries to take this sort of off the map like route to go for the pinch, gets it wrong. Either the timing was off or missed the mantle. Actually, there's the look at it. He's going to die in this moment. Legs not long enough, and you start a hill off like that in a three versus four against a team like New York Subliners. You're not going to be able to get it done, so you make a mistake like that. And that was a moment where the game would have been close to being tied up. Instead, it's right back to about that 60-point margin where, again, New York subliners. When the game is coming to them, things are looking very easy for them. Kismet popping off as well. And I know the Bulldog, we've been waiting for a, a bit of a bite. I know he's been barking for a bit, but right there, took off a, a chunk of Atlanta phase in the map one. Fantastic performance out of New York in the series. Just very much on the cards now. Hasn't necessarily been the best viewing for them when it has come down to every single fight against FaZe, but they got the lead and never let it go. Fantastic performance as close as it got, well, at least at the end of a hill. It was only 30 points or so.
really good job coming in from the side of New York subliners. Never relented in that pressure. Hydra was fantastic in that game, just everywhere where he needed to be. Everybody chipping in, though, and they find a man one win up against Atlanta phase. Invasion Session Destroyer going to be coming up next in Karachi Control. Map number three will stay there for four and head over towards Six Star Search and Destroy for map number five if we get it. We've had three of us all night long. I somewhat doubt that this would stay that same way. Chance phase 100% still in this game. Oh, without question. I was going to say if there was going to be a 3-0, the expectation would be Atlanta phase would be the only one of these two teams to pull it off. But map one, New York sub honors on their map pick on the Vista, absolutely setting tone. But S&D is going to be a very big question as well. Atlanta phase four and two against the subliners on the year in this game mode. So they had the edge, but obviously subliners capable of the fight. And I think Kismet might be the player to pay most attention to for the side of the New York subliners online. His search and destroy has been tippy top. One of the best in the game. He hasn't quite been able to bring that together on land just yet, but hey, you only play COD on the day. It is the online format and he needs to be at his very best obviously very comparable between these two teams but obviously the four loss streak that atlanta phase is on keep in mind that is only against the best snd teams in the world that is just on a sunday they were not able to perform typically always going to be a strong team but an opportunity for the guys on new york subliners to strike it really just keep the pressure on hydra fantastic as well you watch kismet if you want the x factor if you want to watch potentially god you watch hydra French phenom himself. Been so, so good over his still so fledgling career in the CDL. He's still getting himself up and running. But he has been that guy for subliners the last two. Well, I mean, since he's been on the roster, right? Crazy, crazy player and world champion at his young age as well. Subliners need him to perform here though. As we head over towards invasion search and destroy, will be a B hit from Atlanta phase as is customary. Usually, I just so aggressive around the outside of the map. Round number one, Selium gets dealt with, and there's advantage subliners already. Yep, Hydra and Skies working together. Skies was the escort, and well, you just send in the Phenom to get the kill. Nice tags is aware there from Skies. I mean, this is already New York subliners just gonna call the round. Simpendraza, I mean, elite caliber players, but you see the way the subliners are playing it. Shoulders being thrown, no over chows, everybody watching the cross, and right now there are no routes for Atlanta phase to escape. Yeah, all the best phase. Very, very tough situation to be in here. Find one pick, maybe you can rotate something, but just look at that. I mean, they've just led. It's just wide open for Draza to find one. He will, of course, get traded. Maybe a slip in communication there from subliners. I don't think it'll matter a great deal unless Simp can do Simp things. He gets caught on his way around out of dark, and all of a sudden, the round does go to subliners. Opening kill from Hydra, though, set themselves up very, very well. As soon as he gets that, the flank is inevitable. It doesn't come through, but it gives me something to think of. Absolutely. I was going to say, like, long term, you got to be constantly worried about that sort of, like, level of aggression. And I think Selly am going to be experiencing a little bit of discomfort on their offensive rounds now. But I don't think you're ever expecting to take a gunfight. I mean, what, in the first 10 seconds of the round virtually in your own spawn? So, yeah, Hydra happy to run it down. I know for Hydra and S&D specifically, he had a similar story in like MW2 or at the start of the year, a little bit slow in search and destroy, always solid, but never fantastic. But by the end of the year, again, he just ascended. So Hydra definitely looking to hit that form as subliners. Maybe looking to get the first blood. Atlanta phase triple stacked over towards A and Sky's not right for all three. He's going to fall. Man advantage Atlanta. A lot of nades headed over towards the B Street as well. I'm not 100% sure if it was from Draza with the way that it came in, but that's where New York subline has got back down. And did Kismet just get a bit of time? And either way, FaZe will be keeping an eye on the push coming through from Hotel. They have backed up just a little bit. Do they know that this presence from subline is here? Sun's forced in one direction. Sib is making contact. The play is going to be over towards B. A BZ watching the cross has eyes on Juan. Draza plays on him. Can't get the kill. Kismet with the rival nine there to drop him. Got ourselves a 3v3. Sib trying to stay alive. Oh, could he go one better? Not quite simp. We'll find him. That bomb will now go down. No utility here for the side of Atlanta phase to try and break this one open, but they do have the numbers. Kismet is going to be on his own momentarily down the B Street. You can see the flanks now being watched by Hydra. Watch him from the spawn side. Sees nothing. 
Right now, Hydra is getting no information. Neither is Kismet. There's the info that sees them pushing through dark. And now Hydra can send himself back over. Kismet in an aggressive position. Hydra is going to put himself to try and watch the cross. Kismet needs to find at least one. Can't find anything. Hydra now going to try and watch him on the way over. But Rival 9 be damned at this range. These ARs are just going to be too accurate. Atlanta phase. Brilliant retake. They find the round. Yeah, huge win by Selene there on Kismet as well. He is basically positioning play for a freebie. If anyone tries to flank him, Hydra through the crack in the door would have been able to watch his back. But as soon as Selene wins that first gunfight, able just to call round. And maybe even more importantly, because New York Subbiters were making plays. Kismet able to catch Draza off guard a little bit too quick to hit over towards Square. But Atlanta Faze making sure that they're able to hunt down Civ as well. But great gunfights. And hey, a little bit of response. Love being exchanged on both sides. Heartfelt players today, you know? Everybody loves Sunday. Sally, a man of God. Some liners now on the defensive side. Can FaZe do much with this attack this time? Last time was a little bit tough. They got picked off. And are they going to be able to figure anything else out over towards this piece out? It's a slightly different setup from subliners. The 2 2 split. Not so much aggression coming out from Hydra after the last time. Lightning sometimes does strike twice when we're talking about that guy, but he'll maybe save it for a later round. Stacking well, at the moment, but Subline is set up well. You can see on the minimap, Simp number three, he's playing over towards showers. Like Hydra has now conditioned them to be very cautious about the aggression on the flank. So you don't have to flank anymore. You force Atlanta phase to respond, and they're going to be a man down on this approach to be in Kismet. Has the intel, but the drop might be on him. One shot over by Pillars can't get the kill. Draws it too quick with it. Able to cover his teammate. Oh, wait, just kidding. Game glitched out. We do got a 3v3. Miss him on the way. There you go. And he was waiting all that time for the flank to come in. When he's the one flanking, Hydra spins around. We'll be able to find it, but it would have to be a one versus three. Expects presence close, but that bomb's going to go down, and this now becomes very, very difficult. Does have himself a Semtex, but whether or not that's going to be able to help him out too much. Shots into Sally, my good. The nade will not land. Trophy system's there. Has to find a ridiculous gunfight for this round to fall his way. Not going to happen. Atlanta phase working well over towards this B side. Getting the job done. Yeah, that's the uh, the old diabolical setup as well. One player on square, one player on the bulldozer. You just play off the contact and make sure you get the timing for the trades. And uh, that's got to have like a 90% win rate when you get the man advantage in those types of situations. But we talked about the conditioning, worried about the flank. Sim's talking himself over towards showers. But Simp, obviously, you know, one of the best, if not the best player in the game. You give him a little bit of time to think and he gets the timing perfect on the pinch. So big plays being exchanged, and now BZ leading the charge, hunting for his first play. Information was obviously gained. Oh, Hydra killed his own team, and he's killing everybody by the looks of things. Kismet falls, and all of a sudden, the round explodes. Selium now put it up by the grenade, or he probably would have found the kill on the skies. The pressure will be coming in, but not quite. Over towards B, they go with the bomb. Well, nothing to do with this gunfight. New York Subliner is playing the safe route on this one. And we'll be down, Selium in a 1v3. Yeah, and again, we talk about the diabolical setup. I mean, they're not even going for it, the subliners just yet. They're playing to watch all the crosses to get the intel, but selling him on a three spree. I don't know if you want to play for the kills or play for what, but he's going to get absolutely nothing. Easy reads and great positioning by Sky. So no uh, three spree continuation. No thought of a cruise missile there from Selium and see how seriously newer subliners are taking this just an absurd angle this guy's cutting off literally the entire map for his teammates doesn't get any better than that and it doesn't get any more fun talk about an opening break right there from new york subliners instantaneous wrap out by the way all this pressure over towards the a site they had contact on selling him down by bridge or a street got out of dodge instantly over towards b a lot of respect being shown and those opening kills also came through from phase Check in the middle of the map, four of them over towards A, if anything. Subliners nearly cleanly wiped them. Look at this aggression coming through, though, from Subliners. Well pushed up, up towards B. B's are ready and waiting, but not with a lot of real estate to play with. You see the idea from Kismet. He's waiting for the jump. If it be easy or Draza wants to jump over, it will be met with death. Just waiting to see if they make that decision, but it'd be easy dropping down low. Not going to be the case. So Kismet still in a good spot. Him and Hydra working together. Hydra able to get the first blood. Does get traded. Kismet sent in for the trade. His position still unknown. Goes for the strike. Can't get it. Has to back down. Smoking inadvertently hurts his teammate from Hydra. 
So there you go. On his way over now. The rest of the team. Alive and kicking for FaZe, but they can transfer whichever way they want here. Skies will have eyes on, so they know exactly where FaZe are. They've seen at least two of them there. Look at the pressure coming in here from Sib up B Street is two. Well positioned by the subliners now. FaZe running out of time, but they have a B Street completely open because it's being given up now. You need to get going. You don't have the time. Kesma will find Draza. They've had a lot of success over towards this side, but they need to get this bomb down. It's going to be wow if Sim's dead. Shots coming in from Skies. That will be the round, my word. Subliners, great job. Yeah, Skies is on point with that one. I mean, X-ray vision, some of the best wall bangs in the game, this time just through the actual bomb site. But yeah, no, laser beams, he is shooting at his very best. And I was a little bit nervous. I mean, he called it correct. Sib sort of gives up the B Street pressure, but he's just there to play with his teammates. And by the time Atlanta FaZe can even think about the rotation, Skies, New York, Subliners, completely on top of it. I mean, we're talking about these mid-round decisions that like almost have to be instinctual at this point at this level subliner so far taking it to him nice uh three two lead definitely want to make sure you pick up the bomb at some point but they might just be running it down again worked out last time you go for it again not able to catch anybody off guard inside the hotel but you have control of it standard practice coming out from the subliners though no problem for phase they back on no no need to get aggressive he lost out last time. Why give them the opportunity? Wow, this is fast. They managed to move under the side. The smoke will go down now from Hydra. He'll just start to move. And he gets picked apart from Dark. Bomb not there to get planted either. Subliners now on their way over towards DBD. Sim surviving with 2 HP. Gets out as well, but for how long? Pressure coming in from the middle of the map. But BZ finds one. And just dipping and diving where they need to. It's now 4v2 for FaZe. Right, this is just so mixy. Still though, 4 versus 2 and Sims on the pinch. So, New York Subliner is going to end up in the blender or Kismet's going to gun you. The MCW to the rival 9 and now a 1v2 potential. Eyes on the cross plays for the kill. Guns draws to the bed. Top 5 play. We're on our way. Kismet can't get it done. So close and yet so far. Kismet, a wizard, pulling off some magic, and the Red Netty just stuffs him in the end. And a hell of a call there by Selium with a little bit of extra love, but just saucy coming out of Kismet. <laughs> oh my word. That would have been one of the all-time aces. Incredible from Kiz to put that opportunity up in front of him. Selium shuts it down. God damn it, Sel. That would have been family of the top five players. The hey, don't take player. the Lord's name in vain when you're talking about self. Man reads the Bible. <laughs> Kismet now inside of Hotel, sending an eight and three. So well, it did go on to lose that round, but FaZe had to clutch up. Selling with some clean shots, had to go for the, well, did he have to go for the child? Who knows, but irrelevant of that. Into the next round. Hydra holding an acute angle. Kismet is there as well, nades out, will force him away. Is working on something over towards here, Chance. Well, off angle by Hydra. Look at the lineup. Door opens. Gotta get the time. Gotta get these trades. Hydra's gonna be a guarantee, you feel like, for at least one. But through the smoke, can't get it done. But Kismet, the Overseer, at least gets the nade trade. And now, interesting timing. Glasses maybe need to be adjusted. 3v2 for Atlanta phase. Sally, I'm not expecting two down the B Street. They didn't get the bomb down in that period either. Did he see Draza? Yes, he did. Sib gets the hell out of dodge, but a BZ finds Skies. They had an idea of where Sib was. They're watching down Dark. Are they keeping an eye on the flank? Yes, they are. They're on a swivel. You can already see Draza ready and waiting, but he isn't able to hit the shots. You gotta get out of there. If you are a BZ, or do you just go for the child? They're going for the child. Draza's gonna put the pressure on. A BZ's gonna be here right the way. Great job from Atlanta Phase. Time not on their side, so they get aggressive. They play for the kill. They get the round. Yeah, in these rounds, by the way, lightning fast. Like, at least in, as far as the opening salvo goes, once the action kicks off nonstop to the bitter end. And again, instincts right now for these two teams are what's kicking in. Draza, maybe the, the biggest grinder we have in the league, especially so for S&D. Instincts on point. Sib, he makes the right play call, goes for the active play, goes on the chase looking for the trades. But Draza reads it the entire way and wonderfully played in the 2v1. So 3-2 lead for New York Subliners, how the tables turn. Good trigger discipline, it'd be easy. Got eyes on three. Info's there. What can Sim do with it? Should be able to find one. Guns! Spins, my God! Draza can find one, but Kismet 
Is that to pick up the pieces? It's a 3v2 now in favor of Sublime. Is this not going to change? Not quite. The PZ trying his best to do something about the shots in the skies are absurd. This is the highest level of Call of Duty we've seen this weekend so far. Incredible from both these two teams. Bomb is down though. Subline is now in a 3v2 situation. You don't usually lose these. But you can see FaZe. BZ and Sally are hunting for skies. They know he's here, but every single second that dwindles just helps out the subliners, and that'll help out just a little bit more. Salim's there to find one. He will have to back on down. It's a 1v2. Yeah, and there's just nothing you can do. 20 seconds left on the clock. You're just going to slide into death. Someone on subliner is going to get this kill, and both are there for it. Sky's out here making plays as well. Abiz is going to hunt him down, but with him and Selim on the chase, he, not only does he buy you like an extra 15 seconds in this round so his teammates can be nice and comfortable, he also just guns Abizi as well. So guns a little bit cold there in that round. Hydra starting off with just a little bit of sauce, and here's the look from his POV. Drops down to 122 HP, and it takes him and draws it to take him down. That is wickedness in the first blood. Been a couple of absurd gunfights that have been won from players on both teams, to be fair, but Subliner seem to be on the right end of them at the moment. Pressure in on the defensive side. From Subliners, but look at Atlanta phase now. You got aggressive. Hydra is here to answer the call, but does he have much information? FaZe have backed out. Could be potential ships in the night crossing over towards b keep an eye on that in the mini map but still a lot of pressure being put down hydra is able to get that one cleaned up via skies and all of a sudden it's 4v3 for subliners yeah skies able to do that by the way from like the back bridge so that is absurd stuff kismet by the way having a master class oh, performance gives you another double kill that'll be 13 kills so far for kismet and again, called him out. That's indeed. This guy has been a monster. At least in the online stages. And he has provided so far on Invasion. Another double kill. Great first bloods coming through. And New York Subliners back on the attack. They had an interesting idea a few rounds ago. Of like a BZ playing in the courtyard. Sort of hugging the wall. They were trying to smoke off the, the dark cross. And see if you can go out for the pinch. Hydra was looking for it. They didn't have success the first go around. But... I think that might be sort of a, a tailor-made strat, maybe worth attempting again. Kismet having a peek inside of Hotel. Subline is in the ascendancy now. Abizi tagged up. We'll get the hell out of dodge. Some maybe not the best at the KD. He's locking nice. 13 and 4 from Kismet. What a hell of a game. You just have to clear this out, though. You see Abizi. You gotta make sure you dot your I's and cross your T's. Then boy could be anywhere. And you had subliners, by the way, off the rip, like double stacking over towards showers as well. So they're playing with interesting ideas, but a full map spread for Atlanta. No one has crossed the 50 yard line and Kismet put the bomb down. He's ready, ready to make a move. Jarza will find Sib over towards the B side, but that will not give FaZe any information. It's exactly where subliners are. Smoke out onto the site. You go Hydra in the smoke. Not going to be able to find it. Round 11 beckons. Kismet Nelly pulled off an ace beforehand. This will be mightily impressive if we can do this one as well. Uh, he's just thinking about the cruise here on a four spree a cruise missile for the round 11 could go a long way atlanta phase by the looks of it don't even want to attempt to hunt him down they know they got the bomb down don't feed any extra kills to the bulldog awkward position for kismet phase remain patient this round will be over round 11 we go it's been a hell of a search and destroy so back and forth these first bloods have mattered but big moments from both these two teams ultimately end us up at this round number 11. It's been a great search and destroy this one. It's been a good series so far and we may well have a lot more to go, but if Subliners can find this round, a 2-0 to zero lead against Atlanta phase, that'll be something. And I wasn't able to keep track of the math in my head, but whoever has more kills is going to get the defense for the round 11. And it's going to be New York Subliners that are going to get it. So shout out to Kismet just for having an absurd KD by the defense for the round 11. Over towards B he goes. Information gained from Draza. It's going out, so that's wasted from New York Subliners. All to the advantage of face so far. And Skies and Sim might have a square up down A Street as well. Yep, it's going to be it. This is from the round before. Skies, too active. Sim, ready for the kill. There's your first blood. 
patience of a saint from Simp. Maybe a wrap back around, but supply is going to start to squeeze maybe a little bit further up the B Street now. He's been looking to try and find something two kills away from that cruise missile. Bear that in mind if he's able to open his account in round number 11. Gunfight's going to come through. Not quite. Back down. Still playing nervous here. Atlanta phase. For all that they had the first blood, they don't really have a read on every where everybody is right now. Yeah, Hydra got to DVD. Salian didn't actually spot him. So a couple players able to sneak through. Kismet doesn't win the gunfight, but the man that got to DVD able to give you at least one. 22 seconds on the clock. Now you got Sib making plays, trying to keep him off. Bomb, but will sell ghost hunting Sib. Last man standing. Can't get it done. Atlanta phase clutching up in the round 11. Off the back of a cheeky little strat. Simp, too patient for skies. Getting it done. An error of inevitability when that first blood came through. Land of phase. Break that full loss spree in the search and destroy to tie this series up. Been a banger so far. What a search and destroy that was. The highest of levels from both two teams. But ultimately, Land of phase will be the ones who come out on top. 13 and 5 from Kismet. Doesn't find you the win. Tough scenes for subliners, but they very much put up a fight did have that advantage going into it but that is being eviscerated and into a control we go all tied up here chance yeah and keep in mind i mean honestly sell might have only had seven kills but quite literally just the one trade he had against kismet to stop one of the best plays of the year that kismet was in the middle of making i mean that would have been the type of round that not only would have called a game but frankly might have called series with a pop-off moment like that but Atlanta phase holds strong, still confidence as well. Cell still shooting bodies as well in that moment. So icing up in the round 11, better play call as well in the offensive round. But uh, as you pointed out, very high level call duty being played right now. It has been, at least for me, a very needed palate cleanser. <laughs> Less said, the better. It has been a treat so far, and we have potentially three more maps to go at least two though on the other side of this break control is going to be coming up shortly one apiece between these two teams who's going to take the advantage after the next one your game with the scuff the official controller of the call of duty league scuff gaming is doing an ultimate giveaway where you and a friend can win a chance to go to cod champs this year the giveaway includes two vip tickets travel expenses and more to enter scan the qr code on the page or go to scuff.co slash cdl and enter your email terms and conditions apply the Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. They are gods on the map. They cannot be stopped. Hydra still working, though. There's a streak earned as well, up to six straight. That was remarkable there, and Hydra's still going. He's doing whatever he wants. Nine straight for him, 18 and 14. One of the true superstars in our league is up to double. Digits. The man is a threat. He's got 14. It's the cruise hits to New York. Dominate invasion. Trying to make this play. He can only take down one, but now his friends are going to be a little bit late to the party because Atlanta fans have rallied the troops in towards B1. They only need about five seconds to close out this game. The spawns from Ultra all the way across the map. Got to find a way to touch. Needs are littering the front door. There's 248. It does get contested. Petraza with the double. Oh! on the point. You're still alive in this if you're optic tactics if you survive long enough. I don't know if you can. Because inside dials up a triple and it's over. He gets one position. So he has to take the fight. Are Comes you soaring on through. He got it. He goes to planet. He gets it through. Are you kidding me? And he gets away. 35 seconds. He spots him. Back down. He pops. My God! Unbelievable. These guys have elevated. They are gods on the map. They are playing with too much energy. They cannot be stopped. Pretty 
Inzati out of control. What a Sunday it was. A wave of elation across the Matame Athletic Centre. It was a tough nut to crack. Your champions, Optic Texas. level of cdl ongoing right now and the highest level of production in the goddamn game love to see it from the guys behind the scenes and everything <laughs> done in Columbia. What, am I, what am i missing chance i did that i i don't even know how to explain it i the different people were moving in different sections and the guy in the bottom right completely stunned my for a solid 10 seconds i thought my camera froze i got a little bit paranoid and then he moved again i was like oh my god so yeah no i got got in that moment but it happens. Just like Skies got gotten in round 11, where he walked up right in front of Sims uh, line of sight and just died. Yeah, it's tough. It's always very tough when that happens. Control stats though, coming in from phase. I mean, all those numbers on the right hand side of your screen, you don't need to be a Call of Duty whiz to work this out. A lot of firsts, that helps. Yeah, I mean, like for different categories as well. It's the objective playing, it is the slang, it is just being on points. So yeah, FaZe have set themselves apart. Of course, this is across every single map, but even on Karachi, these guys have been fantastic. Third in attacking rounds, second on defensive rounds, and they've been so good, never even seen round five. What's that on Karachi for Atlanta FaZe? Who knows, but I will say, I know we're sort of been expecting subliners. If they can kick it up and make it competitive, that's what we're looking for. And so far, they've delivered. Been a great series of Call of Duty. Control will be an ultimate test maker. And Draza, hell of a first blood to get on Kismet. Nice way to start the Karachi Control. Hasn't necessarily had the series that we maybe advertised uh, Draza, but... Let's see if we can get things up and running here. Two spree to already start off the control. A little bit of pressure coming in from subliners. Kills did come through from phase door to slow this down and kill it dead in the water. Salient shots in the hydra. Phase come out with this one swinging. This is their defense masterclass potentially on display. They haven't gotten like the true spawn trap just yet, but you are subliners. Don't really have too much room to breathe. And you see that stun doesn't connect on a BZ, so he gets the free kill on Hydra. And well, now you might just be in the blender. Welcome to the backside of your spawn in Atlanta phase when they're on point there at their very best. And no one is winning gunfights 26 to 19 in the kills column subliners. Desperate just to sniff the A zone. Incredible from FaZe so far. Salium has been chilling the entire round. Sending his three and no one draws his lined up. Two of them here. Seb might be the next on the chopping block. Not quite going to happen. Abizi will be there to find the kill on the Kismet though. One last opportunity for subliners to make something of this round. But Abizi is lurking. Hydra though very well aware of what's going on here. Next couple of kills. A massive Sib is there for the trade. And is something going to actually happen here for subliners? The defensive hold has been fantastic from Draza. Can't find the final one. Some ATX coming in through from subline. There's some pressure finally easing. And this is a big moment too, because yeah, there's going to be pressure at B. You got Sib potentially thinking about a cruise missile. So Atlanta FaZe need to kill him if they want to stop the A zone. But B is going to be the bigger problem. Sib dies in the feed, so no cruise missile. It may be only a solo capture here for the moment, but Subliner's collecting so many of the kills. The Bulldog has them lined up. Can't keep you any extra. But Skies right now, if Hydra just wants to slide over to the objective, the capture will go a little bit faster. Trying to sell out inside the point. Pressure's starting to come in now here for face. 
And they managed to find a way through. Yes, they can. Skies is there, but the trades work out. And the favor and Got him. spins and finds Simp. V locked down. A working on the progress as well. Atlanta phase miles away. This was looking a dominant round. It's spun on its head. And now they gotta like what make a mad dash over towards the, the A zone. Sky should get overwhelmed in this moment. But now you're just trying to drag the attention. So Skies in that moment is able to call out three different players of Atlanta. And now New York Subliners, I mean, they got every single corner of the map under control. Players top third, Sib, head on a swivel, can't win the gunfight, and maybe not able to set up for his teammates either. Kismet gets a kill, but does get caught. New York, well, now the sides are correct. No flanks coming through. Spawn trap indeed, and a nine versus four. Well, they puffed and they puffed, but they haven't quite found a way through. They did get a hold on over towards B, and it's been a relatively successful attacking round, but one more tick. It's going to be quite difficult when you've got no lives to work with. Mind you, if you just gun everybody, that might help. But BZ is there to find one on the Hydra, though. All of a sudden, only three lives remaining for subline. That's not going to happen. Take quite a stack over towards A. Scary round for FaZe after what was a sensational start. Couldn't quite get the job done. No, and well, it really just because of the opening break, they were able to buy themselves that much wiggle room. If you give subliners maybe an extra four or five lives in that moment, frankly, they might be able to get it done. But a little too much pressure because they were just getting buried by the early onslaught. But either way, it's still nice plays to sort of bail yourselves out, even to capture B. I know Hydra was sort of staying away from the objective for a very long time, but he was very much playing for the kills and for good reason. He got all of them in that moment. So a lethal threat on the map and a cheeky B hit straight off the rip. And look at the defense. Only one player is going to be sibbed to potentially watch this cross. Atlanta phase might just be able to roll you over. They walk through a very open door. Busy on the three spree. He's not going to find any more over here. Simp is doing it all on his own over towards A, though. Just locking it down. Everybody having to invest here from Subliners to get a hold of A. Whilst everybody from FaZe, oh, from Simp, just walked on through towards Steiner. Shots coming in from Celium to just try and lock this down. It's a big kill from Hydra, though, to potentially find a way through. Kismet from the back. Ali draws it there for the hip fire. Continuous pressure coming in here from FaZe. Two ticks not quite locked in. Hydra there to try and spoil the party. Not going to happen. Big fight here from Draza. Though. Four spree for him. 13 and 7. Starting to step it up. Can he step it up at the right time here against Skies? Who's just delaying as long as possible and finds the gunfight. The clear over towards B, but a much more stressful start to the defense of Subliners. Yeah, good night. That was just an absurd sequence there from Jaza. Also, for Selly, did not want to play the objective. He's playing for the kills and originally wasn't able to get any. If you triple stack it, honestly, you might be able to get that zone, but always delicate decisions being made around the stacks while the flank rolling through for Kismet. Obizi trying to push out and get the extra errant kills, but Jaza, the low man on point, just overwhelmed by the grenades. And again, Kismet is sort of the thorn in Atlanta Phase's side. have slowed them down enough that BZ knows he's got to prowl and get some entry kills for his team just to get him out to A. He is the key to unlock this defense. And subliners have managed to set up now. Ticket A, ticket B for Phase now. They start to work on this attack of BZ. Hunting, prowling around. Hydra will find one at the simp though, so we'll give him some information. Information gained on your left hand, on your right. Can you find the one with Kismet? Yes, he can. Can't find the second. Well done from Subliners. Remain patient. Has has now found a way through very much on his own though. Can he defend all by himself? Oh, he might have just got the timing on the Hydra. The shots are there as well. He surely will not find the third. Can't quite get it. His mobile will clean up. It has opened the door for phase over towards it. Yeah, Jaws is making some monster plays right now. Once again, just dragging so much attention his direction. Insane sequences he has been dealing with and the pressure that he bought. Might be enough for you to capture the A zone. You see New York Subliners a little too distant. They're going to chalk it up and play for the kills, but Jaws has got the flank under lock and key. So heads up gameplay from Atlanta phase through and through. A minute and 15 to work with. Get those extra two ticks by me. Oh, Good night. Oh my goodness me. Three in the blink of an eye. It's one round of bullets that just wipes out three of phase. Ridiculous from Hydra, and that might just call the round. Forces them back, and now phase are going to fight through the fire. He simply just never know when he's going to do something like that. It is any given moment. Hydra might be able to pop off, and he's continued that into a four spree. Atlanta phase are in just like the dagger spawn trap. And right now, Hydra, this is when he can be at his very best to play for the crews. He's just looking for the extra two kills. Pressure coming in from phase now. Over towards the B side. They'll do well to win it from here, but they will start to get across. 29 seconds to go. Slow them down. 
Is Hydra going to get caught here? One player in the middle of the map still working on that cruise missile. It will never stop him playing the same way. Pressure coming in. Seb wins the gunfight and that just might open up things here over towards the B side. Have to be careful, but Kismet comes in. Sweeps on up and Sib snaps as well. Some of the gunfights from these guys, honestly, inhumane at times. Ridiculous. Now for uh, five lives left, it is a last ditch effort. I don't think Atlanta Fade is going to be able to make any bit of magic happen. Draza and Ibiza, though, kills on the cross hit. Draza somehow gives you two. Five seconds to get to the zone to stop the clock and Hydra towards the back. Well, 65 HP in Atlanta Fade hunts you down. You blink, you miss it, and the round might just be over. It is over. It's done. I don't think subliners can get there in time. Oh my goodness me. After everything you do right, if you're subliners, you let it yeah. crumble at the final second. Hey, you just don't have to take the gunfights, but I don't know how, like, Draza getting one already, like, hey, great job, congratulations. However, he got this second kill, just opened things up completely. I mean, New York subliners, they throw like one stun, maybe two shoulders, just an extra player stay alive. There was only five seconds left on the clock, but these are unpredictable teams. It will snap in that moment. Atlanta phase, their chemistry, absolutely bananas. Draws are very much warming into the series now. 21 and 13. Force Spring is on. Had a couple of players threaten that cruise missile. Haven't quite been able to secure it. There's a fifth. Six would definitely help out in a different situation, but at this moment of time, phase have got the right numbers at the top of the screen. Two to zero up. After a round of attack and defense coming through on the control. They held this so well over towards A to kick things off, and this should be another kill here for Draza, either up top or down low. Definitely playing for it. Sib waiting on him and maybe played it a little bit too patiently. Some good progress here from subliners over towards A. Yeah, and they got progress over towards B potentially as well. Hydra's sort of waiting in the wings, maybe to go for a pinch or maybe to go for some progress, but it has been a solo cap over by the A zone and they're not going to be able to secure it. Now Hydra's starting to strike over towards B and it gives you a double kill as well. Absurd shots with the rival nine. He's trying to open up the door. New York subliners pressure on. They are flying towards this B zone. Sims just found two as well with the help of Hydra towards the backside. Three dead, four dead. That's has gone. It's got to be gone. There's no way that phase can get there and look how close it is on the A side of things. Sip gonna just try and farm off the respawn if he possibly can. B progress is in, B is gone. A little bit of life here for subliners. Yeah, and Hydra is that lifeline as well. I mean, he picked up a double kill, laser beam sent with rival nine towards the end as well. So clean shots in big plays and now New York subliners keeping the pressure up. Sib near the A zone, Draz is able to collect it. Draza hasn't gotten traded just yet. Draza gives you two. Does enough to get the tags in, so Kismet falls as well. Draza's been doing such a good job of just giving you a little bit extra. But a minute and 40 now. This is the difference maker. The exact same situation Subliners were in round one, but so much extra time, so many extra lives. A difficult proposition for FaZe. Now, they do have that cushion of two rounds, but this one... It's very much looking like a New York subliners one, although maybe you're welcome to the blender if you're subliners at this stage because FaZe have found four down. Precarious position now. You have to try and get out your spawn. Sky is just going to break that duck. His man doesn't get across. A BZ, if you've got the MCW, that's a tall, tall order for subliners. But they do get out. Not necessarily in the best of positions anymore. And that life deficit that FaZe had found themselves in is only one now. And they're chopping everybody down along the way. You got one player again, Hydra behind enemy lines, looking to strike. And Draza, two good players going at it. Trades rolling through as well. Hydra and Sib are going to be up over towards red. 98 in the kills column, and Hydra continuing to turn Atlanta phases heads. The BZ trying to go towards the spawns. He's trying to slow them down. Doesn't see anybody in the end. Draza did shut Hydra down. It's an 8v8. 35 seconds to go for all that time, all those lives that Subline has had. They have found absolutely nothing with it. This has been an absolute tear from the side of Atlanta Phase, finding three and four down whenever they fancy it. Hydra finds one, though. Can he be the one to break it open? You would expect it is going to be him, if anyone. Simple to save six and be six. This is so hard for them. This is unreal. I mean, players just hanging out in the middle of the map. Draws and Ibiza standing on top of each other. It's a mixy moment and Ibiza getting overwhelmed. Hydra made his way to the zone and no one's going to be here for Atlanta Faze. Stack the point and force the round number four and flood them into death. New York subliners, get it done. The extra 18 lives they had there in that moment made such a massive difference.
Took three clean attempts before they could orchestrate it, but done. They got it done. And deservedly so, the pushover towards B. They opened them wide open. Really, really good job from subliners. Get the pushover towards B, and, and as mentioned, ultimately do deserve the round to extend this one. It's phase three to zero. It was looking more <laughs> likely as the rounds went on. Some life in subliners, yeah, but now they will have to hold. Can they manage to do it? Last time around, phase just seems so fluid. It was one big push that came in towards the end. Can they manage to find something again? Pull it out of the fire. Skies trying to lock things down. Good shot, Selium. Just a little bit better. Push over towards it, coming in here from phase, making progress at it. Yeah, only one trophy nearby, so maybe the nades can be on point for the subliners out of spawn. But the problem is, you gotta get past Selium to get out of your spawn. Roaming this upper area, he has been a complete nuisance. And once again, if you're just looking at the minimap, I mean, Hydra is sort of waiting for any action to happen over towards red, but this is gonna be a, a pretty clean A zone capture as they're still just trying to get rid of Selium. He has that linchpin in that position, though. It's just so, so difficult. Coming out of your spawn. I mean, draws there as well when he's hitting shots like that. Sitting at 31 and 20. And there you go. Salyan will just do this all day long. Eventually, they do get rid of him, but they lose a couple of bodies for it. Now the push is starting to come through here from Draza. The shots on the sip are clean. A little bit of help from his teammates. But Hydra from behind is going to slow this one down. And the car. Worst time possible for Draza. Good night. Ban on as well. Oh, subliners. He's spraying to life when needed. Just built different map. He is absolutely built different. Sky's there to get the trades as well. Scattered mini map for the moment. Atlanta phase. Maybe guys like Draws are gonna worry about the flank, but Hydra there to pick it up, or maybe he's gonna find the route. Hydra ends up extending. He's by Coop. The zone is on the opposite side of the map. And granted, New York Subliners have an absolute spawn trap right now. But Draza forced to make the play, trying to buy his team the pressure. Because right now, Sky's keeping him at bay. The Sip could do with winning this gunfight. Fantastic comes Easy. through. He's going to win it. Yep. Reads it really well. But that has allowed phase out. People had to spin around. They had to lose a little bit of a reinforcement in that spawn trap that was ongoing. Kismet. Oh, he's done so well. Stone out. Dips away. Now he's found himself behind two wow. of them. Oh my god, the players from Kismet, they line up as well. But the movement, fluid. And that might just shut down this push from face. The shots from Kismet here. All two teams going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but right now the Bulldogs winning. Yeah, routes on point in this moment. New York Subliner trying to fight, but still, they had the advantage in their previous defensive round, and it collapsed with five seconds left on the game clock. So make no mistake, Atlanta Phase, plenty of time to strike. Kismet gives you one extra, but Atlanta Phase hunt him down, so no cruise missile. Now trying to regroup and wait for their teammates to come off spawn. Atlanta Phase has been getting the deep spawn this entire time. It is a hike and a half to get across this map. I just found two more in the middle of the map. Rival nine in hand has just been consistent. Same with another. That might just signify it. And we are definitely heading over towards around number five. But as you just mentioned, it took till the final few seconds for FaZe to win it. Subline is starting to tail. Next couple of gunfights are going to be important. Sip's going to find his own teammate, but another two. Draz is the only one who can answer back. One player over towards the backside. Slim has slipped the net, though. Needs to get inside the point and do something for his team. Skies has got his eyes forward, but doesn't expect the pressure to start to come through. Just spins, puts shots down. Simp needs some help. The pressure is there. He's inside the point. Doesn't matter. Subliners clean up this time. Force on round number five. And this is a, a rare sight to behold, too, because I've seen Atlanta phase players get world start on more than one occasion. Kismet putting players on skates. Hydra has 180'd multiple people on the side of Atlanta. And from down 2-0 to force the round five, this is the first round five Atlanta phase have seen on this map all year. And into control, this would be the reverse sweep fashion, but Kismet certainly has taken his turn, having the hot hand, nice little spree to bump up the kill feed for a moment. He was talking about getting that bulldog mentality back. It took him an entire day, a 24-hour span. Here he is. Everybody having their moments on both sides. That's ultimately led us here to that round number five. We'll be an attacking round for FaZe. Oh my God, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. Simba draws out working on something over towards A though. They will find a couple of kills, get a little bit of presence, and into the point there go. 
Okay, by the way, Draza might just break the kill record. Just to throw that out there in case we forgot about him in the background making plays the entire time. So 36 kills he started this round with. 37 already and nice shots from Hydra. MCW, Rival 9, doesn't make a single bit of difference. Two players from Atlanta Fade is working out of their spawn. And Draza, once again, the guy trying to open the map for his team. Kill number 38 behind enemy lines. In a good position. You always want somebody up top here. It doesn't see him on his right hand side though. Double kills now gonna fall on through for the side of subline as Simp spins at the right time. Draza gets shut down. Snap from Simp is gonna keep that pressure on though and the pressure over towards B. He's unrelenting as well. Look at this pressure now coming in from Simp from behind them. The BZ now just trying to set it up. The shots are good as well. Simp now gonna try and find a route from, from behind. Can't quite, but it does open the door open towards it. Yeah, Sim gets caught as well, so the Terror is not able to do too much over towards this B zone. Not getting decapped because New York Subliner is trying to apply the pressure and get back in the mix. Keep in mind, I missed when it happened, but Hydra, well, he's got a cruise missile. Sim's going to call his in and get an extra kill. Now you're on a defense and you got the extra cruise. If I'm Hydra, if they're all towards A, honestly, he can call it in whenever he wants. Stayed alive around Coop the entire game. It's his first death of the round, I want to say as well. Look at the high wow. shots coming in as well from Kismet. Can't quite find the second. Draws up for two, and that will open things up. This guy's now on the flank. Is he going to be able to shut this down? Big kills coming in, but it is secured. Time on the board now for FaZe, but the live's not looking hot. And I think if I'm Hydra, I mean, minute 30, maybe you don't want to call in the cruise missile just yet because you got the spawn trap going, but he does have it in the back pocket and it could be devastating depending on the timing. But you've cleared out Junkyard, Atlanta phase, all four players flooding towards this B zone and maybe some New York Subliners players could be out of position except for it's Hydra killing you with their cruise. Two players made it out towards the B zone, but they can't capture this just yet. By the way, 44 kills for Draza. Incredible star line, and he's got time to find more, make it number 45. He's gonna have to continue to pop off though because the side of phase do not have the lives right now, 13 to six, but they do have time. Subline is set up so well. This final push, it may well be it now. New record broken. The old one was on Sib on the other side of things, but that squad seemed to be doing the right side of things at the moment. Draza will fall. He will be finding himself back into this one. Selly and Mabizi combining. It took to the very end for them to find a way through in the previous attacking round. Is it going to happen this time as well? Three lives. And this Not is it. Draza. Final square up, back of the map. All four subliners players here. Line up, Sky's there to drop you a BZ. Next player in line, slides out. Can't get it done, Simp, last man standing. Simp says, congrats on your kill record. Hold that L. Round five, subliners, get it done. What a game. Subliners hold on from two to zero down. They clutch up time and time again find themselves back in the lead on this series. What a game this has been so far. We go to a map number four with subliners in the lead. First time that Atlanta face Seeker round number five and Cratchit control, they'll lose it. And I feel like so far, we're just having our question answered. We've known who the top four teams are this entire year. There have been no secrets. We have just been waiting for the subliners to level up their game. And they are playing wickedly good Call of Duty at the moment. I mean, shout out to Draza. 47 is insanity. Breaks the kill record and then some 33 non trades 8,300 damage, 28 kills on offense. Draza quite literally, Mr. Do It All, but Subliners as a team just gave you extra. Kismet, 40 bomb. Hydra and Sib, not too far behind. And so much credit to Hydra. It's not just these like pop off three piece plays. How many times was he the guy like on offense over towards the B zone, opening the map for his team? Hydra high IQ and high slang. And of course, Kismet again, stepping up him game, his game as well. And I know the desk was talking about it quite a bit. Draws it, the damage output, the kills front against New York Subliners. He's been absurd. Sib has to at least be able to contend. And Sib has been playing incredible Call of Duty as well. New York Subliners operating like machines. That's an incredible stat line to drop AK plus damage to lose the game. I mean, you know, we talk about it so often that it isn't always about the kills, but he did so much for the squad. They weren't able to get it over the line. Subliners clutching up when needed. Send themselves back into the lead. These have never found themselves in a positive situation in this series so far. 
lap number four incoming now. As you mentioned, and as the desk alluded to, it's the time for subliners to show exactly where they're at. Well, if the first three maps are anything to go by here, Chance, they are very much in the conversation for a major title. Uh, no, without question, and especially for like the uh, best player in the game conversation that is always going to be active. I know Simp was getting a, a lot of that praise throughout the uh, stage three, but right now in this series, I mean, Hydra's taking him to task, getting outplayed by the New York subliner. Simp, going to need to kick things up on Karachi. Certainly a map that Atlanta Fays are going to be happy to see for Hardpoint. It has been their playground. They feast on this map as well. But the way this series has played out, I'm not confident in really either team. I'm expecting just a, another absolute banger, 250 to 240 kind of aspect with it. We'll just continue to see how hot the guns are going to be. Because again, right now, players are shooting out of control. Oh, absurdly, absurdly straight at the moment from both these two teams. And yeah, I think if I'm confident over anything, I'm the same as you, that this should be an absolute cracker when we get into it. If we're going off the last three maps, have been incredible from between these both these two teams, uh, at least the best game of COD that I've watched in quite some time. This has been a sensational series, but who's going to come out on top? We've still got two more maps to go through. And as you mentioned, FaZe will be feeling confident heading on to Karachi Hardpoint. But I think there'll definitely be some disappointment. Like, I mean... You can see on the on the phase cams, not exactly impressed with the loss there. They were 2-0 up in that control. Yeah, confident on the map specifically, but not looking too confident in the series. I mean, I don't even know what the looks on the Atlanta phase players like really say. They genuinely look depressed, not too much fire necessarily going into the game four. I know the biggest criticism of the Atlanta phase squad has maybe been just ice against the top teams, but specifically on Sundays. Well, today is Sunday and these guys are going to need the rebound. But just a difficult spot and really just uncharacteristic. Not used to seeing this from the Atlanta phase boys at all. It's going to be an air of disappointment, especially from the side of Draza. You know, you put up the kill record full stop. Going to lose the map is never ideal. But last time around that these two teams did face off that subline as one. This is how it happened. 25th of February. A long time ago. A long, long time ago. Of course, we don't have Skipper involved anymore whatsoever. Staying on Karachi. But they did get the job done. They only need one more map. Two to one up. Can they do it here on map number four? Or do we see a map number five? It deserves a map number five chance this one. Uh, absolutely deserves it, but I don't know if subliners are necessarily interested <laughs> in it. The respawn has been on point. I mean, these guys sort of found that flow state, and Kismet, the guy that has truly leveled up his game specifically in the respawns. Kismet also dropping bombs in search. Got to be on the lookout for New York subliners to continue just to set this pace. Opening break commences. The land phase, they'll get that time first, but the kills going to start to flow. It's been flowing like water. It's been insane to watch Draza and Selium opening things up. Draza, I mean, he'll just feel like he's loaded straight back in. No problem. Let's kick off where we left it. Two to find pretty much initially, but this rotation over towards B2. Of course, face spawning on the better side. The Blinders could do with a little bit of time. This guy's, yeah, the roamer of top three. I mean, he just had, what, maybe 15 minutes of experience on the control, getting to play this position, and he's going to master it as well for the hard point. Certainly a better opening break in terms of time, but now look at the pressure being turned. You're going to be able to get the scrap time and opportunity to make some plays. Hydra, though, gets caught. Extra bodies there for Atlanta, but now you got a BZ. Going to have to fight off the pressure. New York Subliners have quartered them in the back of this map and kill them. They flip the map. They get some scrap time, and Draza might give you two, but it's not enough to get the time. New York Subliners on P2. Going to be able to take the lead. Now we've seen the story before. <laughs> Kismet snapping now as well. Draza lining up the kills, but FaZe not quite able to solidify anything over towards P2. I think that all kind of resulted from Hydra when he found his push run from behind. The route was there. Couldn't quite finish his dinner on that occasion, but Sivit will find the kill. We'll continue to lock down some decent time space. Now we'll find a route over. New York Subliners, can you manage to find the kills on the outside? Not looking like it's going to happen. The shots from Sky's are so crisp once again. FaZe inside the point, though, getting some good time. And you'll take that as well. The way this hill started, the fact that Atlanta Fays have been able to get anything, going to be able to cut your losses. And on the rotation, interesting spawns rolling through. I mean, Selium just spawns up over towards Zoo and expected, but maybe not for Kismet. He was playing for a couple rotators, but ended up just spawning behind. So a mixy moment and an important rotation. Atlanta Fays have the edge, but it's going to be a couple subliners players that got to keep it bay. Beasley had the information that pushes 
through Coop, and all of a sudden, Kismet is there just to pick up the pieces. He's just been lingering around this side. Easy. Wow. Very. It's far too easy, if anything. New York Subline has just run through phase. Communication, maybe not quite there. As mentioned, the BC just walked past one of the players who'd just been stunned previously. And then Kismet just then walks into the point and finds it. Not yeah, plays I mean, you expect think, from phase. Yeah, Kismet hiding in junk the entire time. I just think they were not expecting the pressure to be that quick. They were thinking it was going to be coming from the Coop side of things. But not just that, Hydra was able to give you two. So Atlanta phase forced in a breaking position once again. Sip makes it to the back. And Sip, Gun Skies and Kismet. Sip gave you some extra tags, but you couldn't win the gunfight. And Atlanta Faye is just playing a very difficult game of Call of Duty, but they're making a heart of themselves. Still coming out on top. Rotation over towards New and coming in just a second. Don't think I matter too much in terms of what points are going to go down, but Faye's on for that second. Pressure coming in over towards the old hill. Not going to matter for much. Hydra now trying to find some more kills as he so often does. Had a hell of a start at 12 and 5. And yet still, Faye's find themselves in the lead as we head over towards P4. And you do look at the route, by the way, Sim just took. He like off spawn, spawned at P2, ran through junk, potentially just to flip these spawns, and he's gonna get him. So this is typically a hill that you're gonna see a lot of white time. Simp wants to take the extra investment, maybe give away some of it just to get the spawns, but on a hill that can often be uncontested, Kismet right now, the collection man and Atlanta phase players starting to spawn out. So you take a route like that and subliners might be able to just punish you. Hydra over towards new. It's going to be huge. 15 seconds were up on offer there for the side of New York subline as they will not get the ticket. Scrap time kill comes on through for FaZe and the big kills coming on over towards New here as well. Good job on FaZe. Find themselves only 10 points behind us. So considering how this one's been going and considering the fact that Hydra is having another big, big game. Can they continue to soak up some time? Really good positioning here. New York subliners have got a lot of people to pick their way through. Yeah, this has been a map that's unpredictable as well. Neither team can hold. Spawn's getting flipped all over these plays. These guys continuously just battling. Drazi doing a nice job on one end to sort of lock down the flank, but his teammates cannot handle the pressure through the front. New York Subliners getting it done. They just walk straight through red as they're going to take the lead. Another lead exchange in this game. Draza on a five, desperate for kill number six, and not going to get it. Sit there to get him one shot, or maybe he can. Absurdity. Draza provides again the bailout player for Atlanta haymaker after haymaker between these two squads subline is finding themselves well in the lead momentarily but now it's face soaking up that time 10 seconds or so is gonna be theirs from the scrap at the end of a crazy crazy rotation of hills here on Karachi both these two teams just so evenly matched but it will be phased with the lead heading into the second rotation and draws it yet with a cruise missile just wants to get it in let's continue this on get rid of kids and another the buff cruise missile working out wonderfully and all of a sudden a third on the board as well draws it hey my break is kill record two maps in a row uh, no, there's no chance, right? <laughs> Certainly not. But 16 kills is continuing to feast. And in the meantime, Salium 3 and 11. No production coming out of him, but you still got a little bit of lead. If his gun starts to get hot, Atlanta Phase might be in a sweet position. But for the moment, even off the cruise missile, New York Subliner is able to just battle back in and try to get to that time. But you're going to have to fight tooth and nail for it. This is a wonderful 20 seconds to get. That's not scrap time. That's good time. Some others might be able to take the lead on this rotation, but Atlanta Bay is staying active, keeping the pressure on the map. They don't want to give away the scrap for free. No, oh, they have done. Six seconds, going to go over towards phase and the spawns alongside of it. Been there for quite some time. PC ready, win advanced position. <laughs> Kismet comes in. Every time we're in the POV of Kismet, the guy's just snapping. Hydra finds one in mid-map as well. Simp is going to be ready and waiting for this. Phase will slow down subliners. 50 seconds to play for here at P2. The first big opportunity for FaZe to establish a good lead. They've been running like crazy as well. But now just two players sort of saving off the pressure. But all those nades landing at Sib's feet. Gonna slow you down, but Skies gets an entry. And now it's just overwhelming. There's the break you needed on P2. No. Sip maybe trying to give you a little bit extra, but he gets traded out as well. And now you got Atlanta Faze spawning on the deep left side of the map. And I mean, they're going to have to take routes. They're going to have to chalk up all this time potentially and try to win the rotation. Or maybe again, you're going to have to fight for scrap. Yeah, Atlanta Faze is going to do everything at once. And just like the movie, they're trying to win some awards, get the extra bit of scrap time. Atlanta Faze, they do everything on this map. This guy's towards the back. It could be the tip of the spear. For New York subliners to try and find a break. 
being patient, taking his time. Spawn half subline as was a cruel one. But some huge kills coming in from the side of Atlanta phase. The break now starting to fall into position. They didn't expect him back here, but you gotta hit the shots. Everybody else does though from subline as the break comes in, but Simp and Cole, very, very close. Hydra finds two. The break comes in for subliners. And now this could be Hydra shot to shine. Has 20 kills, by the way, leading the lobby as is predicted. And again, just the peppering, man. The stuns and nades out of control, always coordinated and no room to breathe. But Sky's able to pick up two on the cross. Sib gets the next one. And final man in line is Selium. Food for fodder for Sib. Four man push stuffed. And again, a battle for scrap time. Maybe the teammate is not going to help things out. The subliners, another lead exchange. The game flow for this one is going to be out of control. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. The scrap time is going to be fought over. You mentioned before we jumped into it, Chance, you said a 250 to 240 feels just right. And the map number five could be beckoning as well. A phase can still continue to get things going. Find themselves in the slenderest of leads, but guys, everybody's stepping up when needed. Salim's the, really the only one who has me in flying, but we know there's more than enough time for that to change. The young kid himself, and that's some good shots coming through on a sip. The pressure's starting to come in here from phase. Can they manage to find the break over towards P4? Some time on off air if they can do. And this is back to the sort of the white time special. We talked about the rap route, excuse me, that Sim took early on. Well, Sib's gonna be doing exactly that. So they wanna play for the spawns, but Ibizi's there to pick it up. Atlanta Faye is gonna be potentially getting this time as well. It trades around the zone. Abizi wins a massive gunfight on the rotation. And now Sim's winning the big gunfights in the hill. Remember when I said Hydra leading the lobby at 20 kills where there it's Sim's time to shine already at 26. And I think he might've just gotten the cruise missile as well. I think he might have heard you. said he needed to step up. He absolutely has done. A BZ now starting to tear two. Rotation is here for the side of Atlanta phase. The scrap time is not there for subliners. But we have a tight game. Heading over now towards P5. Drones are trying to lock this one down. Everybody else keeping an eye on the flanks. That's inevitably coming through, but it's going to have to be the front door for the New York subliners. They get cut down before they even get there. I see that. Tydra will find one. Sim will not be good for anything, but he will try to just distract, but he cannot. The pressure from phase unrelenting once again but it's a seven point game 35 seconds to go here over on this hill and the question is how much time can you actually get draws and selling and not hopping on it just yet selling slides on over to begin the collection in a four-man stack just through the front a busy falling from the skies him and draza able to give you two final two players right now for new york and they're not gonna be able to get much done wow. domination on the junkyard hill in a five spree for a bz too easy for him as you got a 30 point lead maybe the biggest atlanta phase have had the entire map of karachi oh, that is maybe what will win them the game that was such a wonderful hold subliners through caution to the win with a big hit that just came through the front door and they will find three kills on the rip the problem is there is cruise missiles to work with that may well be a four down and it may well be good news for subliners and it may well just be the fact that investment has to come from the side of phase here it comes from Sim. Cruise missile in that will force them off. What can they do with it? Sim will find one on the cellium in the meantime. You will minimum get one here if you're Simp. It's still a decent amount of map control, but it's allowed Draza to find the flank. Yeah, that's an important one as well. Draza gets the kill. Does get traded, but you're just looking to keep things active over towards P1. Sim from up the top. Well, gets traded, but gets a player out of time. And it is just a slugfest still around this zone. You had Atlanta phase on the P1. They fought for 20 seconds to scrap and forced the spawns towards the back end. New York subliners thinking about squaring up and doing it once again, but they traded away a decent bit of the time, but they do get the kills. Atlanta phase is going to be spawning so far away. Sims put himself in a position. They are hunting him down. Two, three, four for Atlanta phase. As we head over towards new P2 now locked in for subliners. They can win it here. So can phase, of course. Kill starting to flow on through. Maybe a little bit one by one from phase. They can take their time here, but not too much of it. Spawn at the back. Spawn at the back. It was Draza over towards the backside. He finds Sib. All of a sudden, subliners have a few more problems to deal with, but deal with them. They have 220 and rising. They're 25 seconds away here, Chance. And I don't know if they're going to read the spawns, but it's going to be everybody in the back. Hydra gun up, ready for it over the dumpster. Kismet killed. And they're taking routes. It's not all the dumpster. They're trying to go through the mid cut as well. Atlanta phase. This is your last shot. You got to go. 
Subline is about to break 240. The gunfight that you just don't see him win often draws a finds on the Hydra. And here comes the pressure now coming in from FaZe. Absolute phenomenal plays from Skies to slow this down. And FaZe now cannot win it yet. It's all about the rotation coming in. Subliners are still going to be behind. Atlanta FaZe will be a 245 sip and eviscerates Hydra. Everybody from FaZe has got to go now. And now, well, Sib cut off, man. Sib leading the team. Jaza flooding on in. First kill gonna fall. Next man in line, Kismet only gives you one. Cell shows up in the feed as well. And Atlanta phase might do enough to get it done. Five seconds away. You gotta go now. Just subline as you're jumping on for up top. It's not gonna happen. And game five was inevitable as phase are. We head there shortly, but subliners in prime position get broken down. The rotation is there and they get cut through like a knife through butter. Lana phase find a way to send us to that map number five. What a series this has been. Competitive Call of Duty fans, today we eat a game <laughs> five between two teams playing at their very best. The Call of Duty is bonkers. These guys are playing out of control and everybody getting involved. Simp more or less got slammed in the control. Not quite double negative, but he was very much on the back foot. How does he respond? 33 and 20 starts to pop off 5,700 damage and the most time on his team. Mr. Do it all there on Karachi, but efficient work through and through. Draza also consistently making the heads up, high IQ plays, timing out the flanks, getting his team to spawns, maybe with a little bit of luck on his side, but taking full advantage of it along the way. And I mean, New York Subliners, it is mixy moments towards the end, but here's a look at the game flow. Good luck trying to count the number of lead exchanges, at least four or five in the mix, but literally never more than a 30 point gap between these two teams until the bitter end. Atlanta phase cranking up the heat literally at the end of the second set of rotations. One good full 60 was enough to separate them. That junkyard hill quite literally ends up winning them the game. What a series this has been. Going toe to toe with the best teams in the game. New York subliners have very much put themselves in that conversation. Whatever happens on six star, but a win. That would be something if they can manage to find out what a game this has been. I think everybody needs a minute before we head into what will be a six star search and destroy to close out this series. We're going to go for a quick break on the other side. Let's catch map number five. Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. The Champs Tracer Pack is available now. The bundle includes the Reaper Operator Skin, Ripper Weapon Blueprint, Death Stare Weapon Blueprint, Cuts Deep Charm, two calling cards, two emblems, and two weapon stickers. Use these items to both Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Warzone. Available in store now using Call of Duty Points.
all roads have led to a map number five between subliners and phase it has been an incredible incredible series i hope you at home have enjoyed it we have an absolute blast the players probably a little bit more stressed than we are but what a game this has been map number five we got chance and look, the only thing we were truly looking for in this series is for New York to be competitive against a top four squad. They've answered that. These two teams have been playing wickedly good Call of Duty. Simp and Matt Fives has been on point throughout this year with 1.3 KD. But as far as I'm concerned, subliners, they've answered the question. So who cares about hot takes? Who cares about anything? This is the appetizer for the main course of the final two tournaments. Put your feet up, get a drink, and just enjoy this map five. These two teams have been putting on a show. I wish I could put my feet up and just watch it, but man, what a game it's been. It's been an absolute pleasure to cast. Let's see how it's going to go down anyway. Over towards A by the looks of things for the side of Soberline as a BC on the cross. Things with a neutral setup on this side of the map, vibing away to the music, but nothing happening over towards B side. They know that they will back on up. Subline is still plotting their move. And BZ does find the timing to get an aggressive oh. position just in time to explode. Perfectly coordinated nades, first blood, and is going to be the bomb down as well. 4v3 advantage, and Subline is not even going for the bomb plant. They're playing for the kills first. They do not want to make any mistakes. Bomb plant going into action is going to make it a 3v3 momentarily. The nades will warn him off and give phase time to set themselves up here. Still may well be at a disadvantage in numbers, but you know for a fact. You offer them an opening, they will find it. There you go. Kismet will get taken down. Two players on the flank. Simpin Draza will dip out. Reassess. Three versus three. Subliners will find their way out, though. Faye is still plotting. Yeah, they might just go right into pre-aim. Hydra reaction time on point. Gun Simpin. One flanker down. You do get traded, but now for Atlanta Faye is running out of time. Another trade rolling through 1v1 at Cellium versus Skies. And Cell's got to defuse the bomb. Surely this doesn't work. <laughs> you never know. I always love the early defuse and Cellium went for it. 1v1 against Skies. They're always a little bit difficult from the position he was in. He sees the top of his head. Shots yeah, to the bomb. I okay. tell you, by the way. I have not trusted Selim in the clutch this year. He's had some like weird moments, even on six stars specifically. Don't get me wrong. Man's a menace. One of the best s &D players in the world. But a lot of times the rounds sort of end with a moment like that where Skies is worried about a child, a little bit of trouble and just goes, oh, I'll just kill you for free. So Sel not able to clutch that 1v2 and a nice round for subliners executing after the first blood. A lot of presence over towards A. Kismet on course to break the record if he can have a hell of a game here in map number five. One round has started off pretty well for subliners. The PZ draws are getting aggressive, but this is Mixy. Everybody's in around the point. Which way are these conquer fights going to go? Draws a Celium combining well. Hydra was there and good for one, but Celium finds another. Sky's now in a one versus three. Wow. Can't get it done. Same roaming Slayer there to set up for the kill and. So I might criticize him for some moments in the clutch, but again, s and monster. And Mendraza on point and good recognition. Sib is working that sort of like underground route for the flank, but Cell had that completely under lock and key. No funny business there in another well-executed offensive round. That was a typical Max Holloway style point of the floor and swing between both these two teams. Hellish gunfights all over the site <laughs> towards it. Mixes it like, but works out in FaZe's favor this time. Tied up. Rounds back and forth. Nervy game so far. Again, a lot of pressure coming in off towards it, but Kismet. That's the reason that he could potentially be breaking the kill record for his series. Firing like that. Can't quite find the shots under Sally when all of a sudden Sky's left on his own again. Three and one. Do well to improve that to six to find the round here. He falls. Atlanta face two very quick back-to-back -back rounds. Yeah, and instant fist bumps and locked back in. Talking about the next round as well. Great communication, by the way. Kismet got the sort of like first kill. He was left one shot. Abizi slides in for the trade. There's actually a different subliners player that basically ate the bullets for him. Someone on phase recognized it. Nope, that was not the guy we were looking for. And Draza or Selim, whichever one it was, came swinging in for the extra kill. So... 
ends up gameplay and again lightning fast round atlanta phase taking him to task and sell five and one to start this game i wonder if we see any change up from subline as to just headbutting over towards it because it hasn't worked out so far attack or defense Again, it's going to be mixing in the middle of the map. A busy grenade out. That may well start to coordinate a push over towards A. They find a free route through. Save over towards the backside. Nade incoming. Pressure. Not quite exerted. May as well back up. Subliners want nothing to do with this mixy little site. At this moment in time, they're going to go for the retake. It's four versus four. That's a deep plant spot as well. A busy eyes on three. Everyone coming through the smoke. It is a flood. Everybody out. Draza, what can he do through the smoke? Absolutely nothing. Subline has fine three. And selling him on a four spray, he's going to make it a five. Now we'll surely just play for his life here. That bomb is going to get defused. They are just going to hold tight. You don't want to give Cell the sixth. And Subline is a ridiculous retake. Able to get it done. And I mean, that is the sort of, I mean, that's like the challenger special when the map first came out, throw the smoke and get out in the mix. Terrifying moments, but you saw how quick all three players from New York that were getting out and about were in the fourth follow-up was there as well. Just storming through. And that is very much, we have a game plan for any given situation. We're going to execute it to a T. Basically playing TDM right now on this map of S&D is Salium. Looking for the cruise missile. Has a battle potentially against Hydra for it, but primary action towards the middle of the map. Draws in a BZ. Maybe waiting to see if they can catch a New York Subliners player slipping through, or maybe you just get gone, Sib, for the first blood. Delete Straza. Gives New York Subliners an advantage that I don't think they've had for a while to kick things off when a round does start. Beasy evens the odds, though. What's this play now from Subliners? They may well overextend all the way through the spawn. Did they read it? Yes, they did. Beasy was there, but doesn't get cleaned up. Skies, they know exactly where he is, but Sip will find his second kill of the round. Skies has got zero help, and they hunt him down. 1v2 for Sip. And ideally, I don't know if they're going to recognize... No, they know they have bomb down. You want to give Selly in this kill, if possible, for Atlanta phase. Sib, delicate moment here in this 1v2. I was wondering for a second whether or not he would even try for it, but he is going to go for it. Here we go around the corner. We'll find Sip. We'll dip out. Selly him chasing him down. There's number six. Atlanta phase, another round, which is the important thing. But a silver lining on top of that is that Selium now has the cruise missile. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. And you see Sib ready for the trade, just guesses the wrong direction. And an interesting moment. You want to go for the 1v2, Sib. Fantastic S&D player as well. But maybe that moment bit off more than he could chew. How well can Atlanta FaZe capitalize off the back of a cruise missile? I don't know if they're going to go for it right away or keep it in the back pocket for a different side of the board, but utility can go a long way. What's the plan now for Subliners? When does he call it in? Where can we dip to? We have to play a position where we have to be ready for it. So I'd rather keep a hold of it, I would imagine, for a little bit longer, but we'll figure out what's going to happen. Atlanta phase 3 2 to the gut. And they're just waiting on any flanks, see if there's any noise on the map, but no tax being thrown, no nades being thrown, no flanks coming through for Simp to catch. So the action over towards A, and this is bomb down low, Abizi getting aggressive. Find the pick. Shots coming in. Is Abizi going to think about it? The nade. Through the left hand side, not going to connect. The trophy system doing its job. Is there a moment potentially to bring this cruise missile in? Maybe not now. Hydra will find the gunfight on the draws it. A little bit more real estate, and Hydra's just going to do it all on his own. Finds a BZ as well. Selium. Caught in a bad place, but Sim. This will not be red. Oh, was he going to get bad timing? Not quite. We'll find Skies. Doable now, but Sib finds Selium. Sim gets taken down. Subline is a big bounce back round. Uh, shutting him down as well. Dominating down that A lane. Sib shot on point. Hydra thriving as well in the moment. An important round to get. Still, you have not expended that cruise missile, so New York Subliners got to keep that in the back of their mind, but it's a situation. They just do not want to give away these bomb plants for free because if Salim's alive with the bomb down, that'd be incredibly difficult to clutch the round. Every single so first blood, by the way, is the most important thing to notice on that graphic. Subliners have been on point. Six for six is bonkers. The fact that it's three to three, it's a testament to how well FaZe are playing too. 
things away and then still winning the round. Big pressure coming in from the pool side. There is another first blood for Kismet. And for the side of Subliners, advantageous position. Now they will dip out, get the hell out of there. And look at the pressure coming back in here from FaZe. Getting a lot of mid map presence. Are they going to be reading this though? This guy's now starting to put pressure and he's got the rest of the team here with him. But the double flank from Drawser and Cell. BZ just staying alive. No, they're working on something, but they're seeing nothing. That's the problem. Absolutely no information for the player's own phase who hit that long flank. Find themselves now searching around, floundering around, and this bomb's going down. And there's a cutoff kill. Yep, Sib lying in wait. The island player for the team eventually. One would fall into his lap in a 4v2. Subliners, this is their flow state. Sally really hasn't had an opportunity to use this cruise missile. I'll find another kill on the Hydra. Next kill's massive. Sib will find it. Draws are now left into one versus three. Not going to happen. Sib with a minimum of three in that round. Fantastic work from the subliners. Find themselves in the lead now. Cruise missile are still available for Selium. Bear that in mind. But Sib sitting in nine and four, having a hell of a map number five. Yeah, and also every single first blood for New York subliners on this map. That is seven for seven. That is unacceptable for Atlanta phase. Got to get back on the board. And for New York Slub Hunters, they're going to be back on the defensive end. It is more or less operation. Don't give up the bomb plant for free. Apply the pressure both sites. Both are wide out in the open. And if you get a bomb down in a 4v4 situation, it can be devastating. And they've read the pressure right. A little bit of stack towards the middle of the map and two players out towards the pool side. No first blood just yet, but New York Slub Hunters know where the pressure is. Sib on the force break. And here comes the cruise missile. And it's going to force them away. What's he going to be able to find with it? What a great deal by the looks of things. Oh, he will Good find move. Hydra on the way in. Well played. Hydra gets taken down. That bomb will be going down to B phase. Looking to tie things up. It's easy. Staying alive. The power position. Do they check over the top, though? As draws are here for backup. Kismet will find one, though, on the flank. And could things start to work out? Absolutely not, because Simp has closed the net and Kismet is left all alone. Nothing. Simp there to catch him and two roaming players. I was going to say, Simp, in effect, lets Kismet through the middle of the map, but the same could be said from the other side. Kismet lets Simp through and shoots two players in the back and decides the rounds. Atlanta Fay is very much playing a style where they're just letting Simp think. Give him room to breathe. Let him operate in whatever space he deems fit. And right now, just the Terminator as well. It took a cruise missile, though, for Atlanta phase to get the first blood. And Selim had to read the juke. I think Hydra trying to play with the idea of what side of the wall he's going to be on. But that's what it takes to get a first blood and a round win. Tied up four to four. And a four-man stack towards the middle of the map. This time, it's Kismet playing ice. Oh, and he's just going to get a call pretty much immediately. Sim's already firing by the time he jumps around the corner, but he would have got information there, I believe. How many did he see? But they've already wrapped back around, and that's the bomb with Hydra. Not in the position he wants to be. Grenade now going in. Maybe waiting for the push to come in. Did it tag him up? Maybe just a little bit. Yep. 66 HP. We'll have to back on down. Phase are posturing, though. They're going to start pushing on through in just a second, you would think. But subliners are the one that have to do something but into the smoke they go hydra is going to catch anybody off guard the fights around the smoke are just so difficult to find and phase now in a position the sky's in the one versus four you manage to slip by in the smoke but it's just such a chaotic moment when the smoke goes down it's gonna be phase match point Smokes in Call of Duty are absolute hell. You go to war when you stand inside of it and you are praying for the gunfights to go your way. But there's the retake and with the man advantage off of a, another first blood. It's been a rare sight for Atlanta to get them, but when they do, they execute. Sib fly now and able to fry Sib. A little bit of help with the comms from Selium in that moment, but completely on point. Sim, that's the five spree, by the way, that he was going on. This man just cranked up his gameplay in the past two maps. If you can find the cruise missile, you may as well be riding the obituary. The New York subliners. The tiny terrors playing together. They know if they get this cruise missile, the game should be theirs. Subliners dare not move.
just playing for a mistake. You got Atlanta Faze on one shoe, Andy on another. But no one moving. So much map control over towards B as well. So New York Subminers, they can stay stagnant in the setup. They have good positions. They seen them though. Kismet around the corner. He gets caught. Cruise missile available. And now Simp is just not going to stop. He runs forward. And Hydra left in the one versus three. Can he stop the bomb going down though? Simp on his left. Everybody else around him doesn't find anything. It's more kills for Simp and more wins for FaZe. They were tested all the way. But a 6-4 victory in a five-map series that will go down as one of the best in quite some time. Subliners, close, but no cigar. The appetizer before the main course, Ton. Fantastic day of Call of Duty for these two teams. Playing wickedly good. New York Subliners clearly ready for the day, but Atlanta Fay is still a titan in Call of Duty. So difficult to take down. Masterclass on the final two hills of the, the Karachi Hardpoint. Atlanta Fay's got back-to-back -back breaks that were nail biters, and Simp the Man leading the charge in the final two maps as well. Double digits there in the SD. Didn't care about the cruise missile. He knows that he was the streak, but the fact that they only got Two first bloods. One of them was a cruise missile by Salium, and they still win the game. Win a phase. They truly are built different. You could point towards some deficiencies in terms of not finding them, but for subliners, that's going to sting as well. Plenty of them went their way. Eight out of the rounds that they did play a 6-4 victory for FaZe in the end, and that series really does tell the